Hi hey everyone, here's a question from Square and Square Root. Show that 4761 is a perfect square. Also, find the number whose square is a given number. So first we have to show that this number is perfect square. And next we have to find out whose square is this number. That is, we have to find out the square root of this number. To do this, I'm going to use a prime factorization method. Now this is a very simple method. We have all learned prime factorization in our lower classes, 4th and 5th class. Now remember, Prime factorization, so only take prime numbers when you're factorizing it. So here's a number 4761. Now this is an odd number, right? So I cannot take 2. I'm going to start with the next prime number, which is 3. So 3, 1's are 3. 1 is a remainder. I'm going to write this along with 7. That makes a number 17. And the next 3, 5 is a 15. 2 is a remainder. I'm going to write this along with 6. That makes a number 26. Now 3, 8's are 24. 2 is a remainder, I'm going to write this along with 1, that's 21. 3 7 is 21. Now again this number goes in 3. So 3 5 is 15. We got 8. So 3 2 is 6. 2 is a remainder, that makes a number 27. 3 9 is 27. Now we got 5 29. Now I have this number you have to remember because 5 29 is a square of 23. This number is not multiple of any number. It's uh, like when you check uh, with different prime numbers like 11, 13, 17 and all. It doesn't go. So there are a few numbers. It's better to remember them. So this number is a square of 23. So 23 squares or that is 23, 23's are is 529. Remember that. Now 23 is a prime number. So 23 ones are 23. Now once we have written this, I want to rewrite this number. But before I go ahead and explain you how to check if this number is perfect square or not, I want I just want to tell you about this book, Adi Sharma. I think have you all have heard about this book. I get a lot of questions in the comment that I have from where I have taken this question. So this is a one of the reference book which I take a questions from. And this book has a lot of questions from each concept. You will see uh, many questions to practice. So apart from your textbook, you can follow this book to get a more practice on the questions and also concepts. So I have given a link in the description. You can just click on the link to get this book. And uh, so the lowest price here is some 557 something, the link which I am providing you. And I hope you're going to use this book. So let's, back, let's get back to the question. Now, so once we have done this, I will rewrite this one. So 4, 7, 6, 1 is equal to all the factors what you got. It is 3 into 3 into 23 into 23 if the given number is perfect square you will see that the factors will be in a pair so this is forming a pair and this is forming a pair which means this number is a perfect square number if the number is not a perfect square then you will see at least one factor which is not paired it will be single so this number is perfect square now how to find out its square root so from each pair you take one one number so from e this i'm going to take three and from this i'm going to take 23 so multiply this two you will get 69. So square root of 4761, that is 4761 is 69. So that's it. I hope this question is clear. In case you have any other question or doubt, you can drop a comment. I'll try to make a video on it. Thank you so much for watching.